Hi guys, you're with Barry, and uh, you're with the the Arscapes YouTube channel and our new Something Feels Wrong. I want to take a minute to introduce you to two great folks we just spent uh, the last few days with, showing them around our area. And uh, it's not often that we're actually, Leanne and I and everybody, we've just really taken... Uh, to feel really good with these guys and we, we've had a good time so this wasn't like work at all and uh, we want to share their viewpoints with you and uh, without any further delay I'd love to introduce you to Angie and Larry. Hey guys! Hi! Hi. Larry. <laughs> so um, I first met Larry, I recently met Angie and how long has it been Larry since we've been uh, on the phone and actually how long is it since we first touched base with each other? I, I think uh, it's been about uh, five, five and a half months, Barry. About five and a half months. Yes. Okay. And the first time I actually touched base with you was uh, on this soil, basically. Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. About four days ago. When did you guys, uh, you're living in the States, and uh, when did you guys start thinking about um, your retirement options and things like that, or maybe a second home somewhere else? But when did that uh, come into your perspective? Uh, probably, uh, uh, well, actually, Barry, uh, I've been thinking about it for probably the last five years, and uh, but more so in the last uh, uh, three uh, years since I, I've known my beautiful wife, Angie. Okay, and Angie, were you kind of on the same plateau as that, or is it more of a shock for you about that kind of decision to consider, or...? It's more of a shock to me, but I'm getting used to it, and I like it. I like the journey. And um, I want to probe a little bit with, with uh, only on what's comfortable. You've been in many countries due to uh, your profession. I, I have. Uh, so why don't you tell us a few of them that you've been in? And uh, Been in uh, Panama, uh, through Costa Rica, uh, Philippines. Uh, Iraq, Afghanistan, um, Albania, Korea, uh, to name a few. And was your sense of kind of looking, was it more like a uh, quality of life thing? Was it a plan B thing? Was it What inspired you guys to consider doing this as you both you recently retired? And I know Angie's still, uh, still employed. And I know uh, Angie's in sales of uh, telecommunications. And tell me on, on how this whole thing came about and, and, and everything about this kind of uh, future plan. Well, uh, Barry, as you know, in the U.S., uh, things have changed a lot uh, since we were young, young guys. <laughs> Not that we're old. And uh, things have changed a lot. You know, uh, when I was little, we could... Uh, purchase a Coke for a nickel and uh, uh, a nickel for a bag of cookies would get you about uh, 20 or 30 cookies in a, in a brown paper bag. So for a dime, I was a happy little boy. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can't get much for a dime now in the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, so things have changed a lot. And uh, what our parents used to enjoy as a retirement and uh, used to call the American dream, so to speak, is... Uh, Taking on a uh, a new meaning and a different face for many Americans uh, around the country, I'm sure can uh, agree with me. So, uh, knowing that I didn't want to, uh, like many of my fellow comrades in the military and people that I've known throughout my walk of life, and those that are my age and older, uh, I look around the country and I see people uh, much older than me. Uh, they they can't afford to retire uh, in the U.S. Um, they really uh, are wondering if they will ever uh, be able to, to, to reach that dream of a retirement age. So I didn't want that to be my, my end, so to speak. Uh, I think there's more out there. So the question was, you know, what brought us to that point and of, of looking outside of the U.S.? It, it is uh, for retirement, looking for a, a more cost-effective uh uh, uh, retirement, uh, one to where my dollars will stretch more. So that pushes me out to other countries, uh, to be able to do that, but also quality of life. And, um, that means a lot of things for uh, different people. 
but uh, I believe in my research and studies and my travel is that uh, I can live a lot better and my dollars will stretch a lot farther in other countries. And believe, believe it or not, we can live a lot better and a lot better quality of life, healthy and, and, and all of that. Greater level of peace. Angie, would you, as a, as a, a mother of two, I believe, uh, you feeling those effects too, to a degree about in terms of um, inflation and dollars just aren't cutting it like they used to and the quality of life, it's like all work and no play is... And it's hard to save a dollar. Are you? Are you? Are you seeing that even? Because you've been you've been uh, one of the top performers in your company for past twenty twenty something years. Ten. Ten years. Yeah, and, quite twenty. But you're you're. Are you feeling it though? Are you I feeling am. that that it's harder to stay above water? It is. It is. It's more like the more you make, the more it takes. So I am feeling it. I give it my um, husband time to do the research and he talks to me about it and I see it more and more every day so yep tired of the rat race Larry um, Larry if, if if you're comfortable um, with your experience and travel um, where do you see America heading that's a uh, that's actually a broad question we probably don't have enough time for me to to answer it and uh, but I will uh, in short as I've shared with you while I've been here, um, I tell people everywhere I go, a house uh, that's divided, I don't believe will stand. That's an old saying, and uh, I found it to be true in my short lifetime. Uh, I'm about 50 years old now, and um, any divided family uh, w will fall apart. Uh, what makes a family strong, what makes a town, a uh, municipality, a state, a country strong is the unity of its people. Uh, what we can do together is much greater than what we can do as individuals. And what's hurting us is, uh, is that uh, America is in a divide in many uh, levels uh, throughout our country. And we don't have to talk about the specifics of all of that, but we're, we're at a great divide. And, um, uh, you know, whether it's in politics and all levels of government, uh, we're, we're at a great divide. And if we uh, can't figure out how to work together, in which we haven't for several decades now. Um, it's it's bringing our country to its knees. We are not the America. We are not the U.S. that we used to be, in 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 many form, ways, and fashion. So um, I, I believe that there's there's no other place to go. Uh, when when a house uh, divides, it falls. So you ask me where I believe America is going. This is just Larry's opinion. Um, I believe that it's 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 about to to fall, and um, can it can it be turned around? Yes, there's there's things that I believe that can be done that can turn things around. But will I? Do I think that that will happen? I don't think it will happen. I think that we have crossed those uh, boundaries and uh, far many years back, and um, I think that we are we're it's our time. I think it's time uh, uh, for America. Um, to, to reach the point of uh, no return, and I think we're there. So uh, for us, for me, my family, you know, this is not a doom and gloom thing. You know, I, I just think it's facts, and uh, we've decided to uh, accept the facts and, um, and do what we can uh, to make sure that uh, it affects us as least as possible. So uh, besides the uh, lower cost of living, and a better quality of life, uh, we're looking for a, uh, a plan B, so to speak. Uh, some people might say that's uh, running away. No, we're not running away. I really don't run away from anything that I can remember in my life as an adult. Uh, I generally run towards danger when everybody else is running away. Um, so it's not that we're running away. I think it's just being wise. And it's, uh, as I tell uh, people that I know, is uh, we have health insurance not because we believe that we're going to get sick and die uh, without it or we think something terrible is going to happen. It's just being wise and, 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 and for your family, for yourself. So I believe the wise person would develop a plan B and not sit and wait until the cards all come crashing down. Angie, were you on board with this from the beginning or was it much the same like, 20 years ago with Leanne and I, um, 
it took time to catch on to what your husband was thinking. It was radically different than most people think. And over time, is it something you've warmed up to to accept as reality, or is it something that's still a big challenge to you to accept uh, what evidently you both have told me you're seeing all over your country as reality? Is that a challenge, or do you accept it now? I have accepted it now. At first, when he brought it up, it was a challenge. But I trust him wholeheartedly with everything in me. And he does the research, and he's telling me about it. And I've listened, and I understand, and I'm all for it. But it was a challenge at first, and I was like, I was a little apprehensive, but I'm all for it. It's hard to open up the mind to things that... It is. It is. Maybe question your whole belief system. Absolutely. Uh, I'm going to put this one back into Larry's corner here because he's being very humble and we agreed about that. But from a man that has uh, a lot more experience than I have in that area, was a guy like me able to teach you anything? Yes, sir. I've learned a lot from you in the last few days, Barry. Uh, as I told you, it feels like our relationship has gone on for years. And... Um, you know, I, I I'm I'm like fungus. I grow on you. Yeah, yeah a while, you, you, you do, know? you do, <laughs> you do. And uh, I can't say enough about the Dr. Escape uh, family. And uh, but and, that that's cool, and and yeah. and, I, and I appreciate that. But yeah. I'm saying, uh, and we're respecting that. You're being humble, but we talked a little bit of privacy. What you've seen in your life are my concepts and ideas, sensible to a man of your experience. Most definitely, without a doubt. And uh, if there's anybody out there doubting, uh, I had my own reservations uh, before coming. But uh, the first time I talked to you on the phone, as I told you, I really appreciate you being a straight shooter. So uh, all of your videos, all of your writings, and meeting you personally, you're, you're just as straight as an arrow. And that's the way I like it and wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't change a, a thing about you. So, yeah, I've had a lot of history and a, a lot of knowledge behind me, been a lot of places. Uh, but you have a, 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 a wealth, a wealth of knowledge to share with people that are looking for a plan B, whether it's in the DR or wherever. It, it, you've been mm -hmm. here, I believe, over 30 countries, haven't you, Barry? Uh, I've, I've lived in six, been in yeah. over a hundred. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but, but the thing is, we've never pushed, uh, and you know that I've said that many times to both of you. We've, we've never pushed that this is the only place. Yes. We are pushing that there are countries that will survive better. That's exactly And it's right up there. to people to really find out what they are. Yes. But, um, did you find that? We don't sugarcoat much. <laughs> I'm pretty direct, I know. But yeah, uh, yes, uh, about even about things in this country, right? I, agree. I mean, because I I know Angie. Uh, we've answered uh, your questions about crime and this and that, and we just said let's get on out everywhere in the middle of nowhere, and you tell us how you feel. And with that in mind, I know you've been to the Philippines and I think a couple of other places. So, from a woman's point of view, how would you feel now? How do you say you feel? Safety was my top priority, and here I feel safe, comfortable. I just feel very open. I feel right at home. I don't want to leave. That's so. that's good. You don't have to. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? I don't have to leave. <laughs> Lots of extra room. Uh, it's like any, any country, like I tried to get across in the beginning of our trip. I can go, uh, whatever, I'm from Canada, you're from America. I can go to America and blot out. 20,000 mile square circles and within that anywhere in your nation I'm going to find the worst the highest crime the good areas safe areas not safe areas and and after all we've covered uh, right now to date and we're still going to continue tomorrow a little over 400 miles yes and uh, I think in that 400 miles um, you can sense that as well I mean Absolutely. so I want to also get one other thing across from your experiences what can you tell all those people that are sitting on the fence post in fear not knowing what to do good question take action take action there are better ways there are solutions i was told by a, a wise man a long time ago that told me something very simply and that i have repeated it probably thousands of times in my life a problem only exists because it hadn't been met with the proper solution. The solution is out there. There are many answers to the situation in which you find yourself. 
but you have to take action. Waiting for the government, waiting for whomever to make decisions for you and to fix the problems. I, it, it, they haven't done it in the past and they won't do it. Um, I would just say take action, start researching, start looking. And if you don't know where to look for plan B, I'd say start with DR escapes. There are many, many, many other ones. I, 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 I signed up and, and paid, uh, annual subscriptions to other, uh, uh, ones to figure these things out. Barry wasn't the first place we started. It's just where we ended up and my, my looking has ended. So this is where we would, uh, uh, are interested in, but I just say to you, start your research, start it quick, start it fast, and don't stop until you have developed a plan B for you and your family. Angie, from the lady's point of view, can you add on to that? Yeah, I was, as they say, trust but verify. I trust my husband wholeheartedly. I just wanted to verify it was for me. And I have verified and I love it. I am so comfortable. I love it. Don't want to go anywhere else. Don't want to go anywhere else. Don't want to leave. So this is definitely the place to be for me as a woman. I feel very safe. I feel like I can walk outside without having my husband come right behind me, and everything will be fine. It's great. It's beautiful here. Oh, my goodness, it's beautiful. And I'm just sitting here on a porch rocking. This is just life to me. I'm so excited. It's simple, but it's, it's good. It is. That's it. You're happy. That's, that's it. All right. Excellent. Okay, and closing this off, I just want any last bits of word, words of advice you can say to Shed and anything about that? I would just like to thank you and your team and everybody at the hospital. Oh, it's totally been, been our pleasure. Great. It's been wonderful. I can't remember the last time I had so much fun without <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> you know? <laughs> now, these guys are what I call salt-of-the-earth people. And um, Leanne and I are actually feel privileged to have somebody with the skills that Mr. Larry has to come on board our team or wishfully coming on board our team. And I can tell you right now, Angie uh, is not going to have any trouble keeping busy and with the ladies. And guys, any, any last thing you can say before I cut it off? No, Barry, I think uh, Angie said it all, uh, the fact that she feels comfortable here, and I second her motion. Uh, and the words she said is just thank you to the DR family. Uh, you guys are wonderful. Johnny, Leanne, Barry, uh, you guys just need to come out and experience what we've experienced. There's nothing like experience. Researching on the computer is only going to take you so far. Sign up, come out to DR Escape, and go through one of these tours. You won't be sorry, I promise you. Well, with that in mind, uh, I want to thank you both for your time. I really appreciate doing this. Thank I know you. it's it's something that's uh, beyond most people's comfort zone. I've just been behind the camera so much. You did great. And until next time, this is Barry in DR. And for the DR Escapes YouTube channel and our new sister station, somethingfeelswrong.com. Till next time. <laughs>